in the domain of physics and probability, a Markov random field, Markov network or undirected graphical model is a set of random variables having a Markov property described by an undirected graph. A Markov random field is similar to a Bayesian network in its representation of dependencies. The differences being that Bayesian networks are directed and acyclic, whereas Markov networks are undirected and may be cyclic. Thus, a Markov network can represent certain dependencies that a Bayesian network cannot. On the other hand, it can't represent certain dependencies that a Bayesian network can. The underlying graph of a Markov random field may be finite or infinite. When the joint probability density of the random variables is strictly positive, it is also referred to as a Gibbs random field, because, according to the hammersley euro clifford theorem, it can then be represented by a Gibbs measure for an appropriate energy function. The prototypical Markov random field is the Ising model. Indeed, the Markov random field was introduced as the general setting for the Ising model. In the domain of artificial intelligence, a Markov random field is used to model various low to mid level tasks in image processing and computer vision. Definition Given an undirected graph G equals a set of random variables X equals V of E indexed by V form a Markov random field with respect to G if they satisfy the local Markov properties, pairwise Markov property. Any two non-adjacent variables are conditionally independent given all other variables. Local Markov property, a variable is conditionally independent of all other variables given its neighbors. Where Ni, V, is the set of neighbors of E, and Cl, V, equals V A Ni, V, is the closed neighborhood of E. Global Markov property, any two subsets of variables are conditionally independent given a separating subset where every path from a node in A to a node in B passes through S. The above three Markov properties are not equivalent, the local Markov property is stronger than the pairwise one, while weaker than the global one. Clique factorization, as the Markov properties of an arbitrary probability distribution can be difficult to establish, a commonly used class of Markov random fields are those that can be factorized according to the cliques of the graph. Given a set of random variables x equals v of e, let p, x equals x, be the probability of a particular field configuration x in x. That is, p, x equals x, is the probability of finding that the random variables x take on the particular value x. Because x is a set, the probability of x should be understood to be taken with respect to a joint distribution of the x v. If this joint density can be factorized over the cliques of g, then X forms a Markov random field with respect to G. Here, CL, G, is the set of cliques of G. The definition is equivalent if only maximal cliques are used. The functions I see are sometimes referred to as factor potentials or clique potentials. Note, however, conflicting terminology is in use, the word potential is often applied to the logarithm of I C. This is because, in statistical mechanics, Log, I C, has a direct interpretation as the potential energy of a configuration X C. Although some MRFs do not factorize, in certain cases they can be shown to be equivalent conditions, if the density is positive, if the graph is caudal. When such a factorization does exist, it is possible to construct a factor graph for the network. Logistic model any Markov random field can be written as log linear model with feature functions such that the full joint distribution can be written as where the notation is simply a dot product over field configurations, and Z is the partition function. Here, denotes the set of all possible assignments of values to all the network's random variables. Usually, the feature functions are defined such that they are indicators of the clique's configuration, that is, if corresponds to the ith possible configuration of the kth clique and zero otherwise. This model is equivalent to the clique factorization model given above, if is the cardinality of the clique, and the weight of a feature corresponds to the logarithm of the corresponding clique factor, that is, where is the ith possible configuration of the kth clique, that is the ith value in the domain of the clique. The probability p is often called the Gibbs measure. 
This expression of a Markov field as a logistic model is only possible if all clique factors are non-zero, that is if none of the elements of R are assigned a probability of zero. This allows techniques from matrix algebra to be applied, for example that the trace of a matrix is log of the determinant, with the matrix representation of a graph arising from the graph's incidence matrix. The importance of the partition function Z is that many concepts from statistical mechanics, such as entropy, directly generalize to the case of Markov networks, and an intuitive understanding can thereby be gained. In addition, the partition function allows variational methods to be applied to the solution of the problem, one can attach a driving force to one or more of the random variables, and explore the reaction of the network in response to this perturbation. Thus, for example, one may add a driving term JV, for each vertex V of the graph, to the partition function to get. Formally differentiating with respect to JV gives the expectation value of the random variable XV associated with the vertex V. Correlation functions are computed likewise. The two-point correlation is. Log linear models are especially convenient for their interpretation. A log linear model can provide a much more compact representation for many distributions, especially when variables have large domains. They are convenient too because their negative log likelihoods are convex. Unfortunately, though the likelihood of a logistic Markov network is convex, evaluating the likelihood or gradient of the likelihood of a model requires inference in the model, which is in general computationally infeasible. Examples equals Gaussian Markov random field equals, a multivariate normal distribution forms a Markov random field with respect to a graph G equals if the missing edges correspond to zeros on the precision matrix. Such that, inference, as in a Bayesian network, one may calculate the conditional distribution of a set of nodes given values to another set of nodes in the Markov random field by summing over all possible assignments to. This is called exact inference. However, exact inference is a p-complete problem, and thus computationally intractable in the general case. Approximation techniques such as Markov chain Monte Carlo and loopy belief propagation are often more feasible in practice. Some particular subclasses of MRFs, such as trees, have polynomial time inference algorithms. Discovering such subclasses is an active research topic. There are also subclasses of MRFs that permit efficient MAP, or most likely assignment, inference. Examples of these include associative networks. Another interesting subclass is the one of decomposable models, having a closed form for the MLE. It is possible to discover a consistent structure for hundreds of variables. Conditional random fields. One notable variant of a Markov random field is a conditional random field in which each random variable may also be conditioned upon a set of global observations. In this model, each function is a mapping from all assignments to both the clique and the observations to the non-negative real numbers. This form of the Markov network may be more appropriate for producing discriminative classifiers, which do not model the distribution over the observations. CRFs were proposed by John D. Lafferty, Andrew McCullum and Fernando C. N. Pereira in 2001. Varied applications, Markov random fields find application in a variety of fields, ranging from computer graphics to computer vision and machine learning. MRFs are used in image processing to generate textures as they can be used to generate flexible and stochastic image models. In image modeling, the task is to find a suitable intensity distribution of a given image, where suitability depends on the kind of task and MRFs are flexible enough to be used for image and texture synthesis, image compression and restoration, image segmentation, surface reconstruction, image registration, texture synthesis, super resolution, stereo matching and information retrieval. They can be used to solve various computer vision problems which can be posed as energy minimization problems or problems where different regions have to be distinguished using a set of discriminating features, within a Markov random field framework, to predict the category of the region. Markov random fields were a generalization over the Ising model and have, since then, been used widely in combinatorial optimizations and networks. See also, maximum entropy method.
Hopfield Network, Graphical Model, Markov Chain, Markov Logic Network, Hammersley Euro Clifford Theorem, Interacting Particle System, Ising Model, Probabilistic Cellular Automata, Log Linear Analysis. References External links MRF implementation in C for regular 2D lattices.